Welcome Libra, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Shadow Healing, Cosmic Reading Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here Libra. Move those over there. Three cards for Libra please. Three cards for Libra. They just fell out. Let's get some proper ones. That's what we're talking about. Okay, one more card for Libra. Excellent. Okay, Libra. Get ourselves organized here. What have we got? We have fraud. Alrighty. Being left with the deception that you once thought was truth can leave you feeling beaten. But you will emerge from this situation stronger than when you began. Next card here is defeated. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Just do it differently next time because the other way didn't work. And the last card here is Torment. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. Make peace with you. Sorry. First, make peace with yourself and shortly thereafter, you will reg regain your confidence. Wow, okay. So, quite the healing journey here, Libra. Let's have a look at fraud. Two cards for Libra, please. Being left with the deception that you once thought was truth can leave you feeling beaten, but you will emerge from this situation stronger than when you began. Okay, so we have intuition and compassion. Okay, so... Here's the thing, right? When we're deceived, this can um, cause us not to trust our intuition like we once did. Okay, um, so I feel like maybe this is something that you may need to work with so that you can build up that muscle again rather than doubting it um, so that you can put it to full use again. Okay, so two cards for intuition. Tell me more about this. For Libra, please. Okay, yep. So this is about you working through the um the the sorry Libra, let me just get on myself because this this energy of feeling like um quite embroiled in the emotion, like it's all lumped into one. And I kind of have a feeling that this is about the suppression here because um I, th I think I think that this is you feeling beaten down. Okay, this is you feeling like this is really interesting because normally I get that you're suppressing things, right? But I don't feel like that. I feel like this has suppressed you and potentially even suppressed your intuition. Okay, but as you work with your intuition, it's um it you're going to um get more success. And I'm talking about little things, right? really little things, and celebrate those small successes, okay, because as you do, and as you celebrate yourself, you know, there'll be things that you don't get quite right, and, and there'll be things that maybe the mind will pop in and tell you something else, and you'll start to understand the difference between the mind and the intuition as you develop that muscle even stronger, especially when you have doubt about it, it can be even more diff difficult to allow the intuition up and um, out okay but if you try it over the small things you'll start to learn to trust it again and sometimes I feel like this suppression could be about suppressing suppressing the intuition because if you feel like you've been deceived at some point then we can be less likely to trust our intuition the way we did once before and start to believe in our mind and the mind is generally not the best route to go okay so becoming receptive to receiving these messages and it's more a feeling okay so compassion have compassion for yourself please don't beat yourself up over it libra okay because even if you did have um the call from your intuition sometimes we ignore it and i don't 
really feel that beating yourself up over that is going to achieve anything at all. Okay, so have compassion with yourself. Two cards for compassion for Libra, please. Okay, three cards. We have three cards. Yeah, see, look at this here. Um, the mind. Yeah, see, this is the burden of the mind here because look at how these are placed. Look at this guy pointing at the mind going, yes, go towards that. That will tell us the way to go. But look at how the mind is functioning here. It's not very healthy at all. Okay, so I feel like what this is important if, um. What is important for you is to release all this. Release it all so you can clear the air, so you can clear your energy and start to actually um, become one with what occurs naturally, which is your intuition. Okay? Um, and how you can achieve that is by having compassion for yourself. Okay? So... Next card here, Defeated. Okay, two cards for Defeated for Libra, please. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Just do it differently next time because the other way didn't work. And sometimes it's a matter of that, just that, right? Well, it didn't work. Let's try a different way, rather than getting down on yourself and beating yourself up over it, okay? And this is it, you know, maybe you feel like your intuition was what deceived you, and this is what the fraud is, right? Maybe you feel like that's actually you. That's two cards. We want one card, one more card. On the floor. Okay, so... Awaken. Awaken to, I feel like the intuition, but I feel like it's something more than that, to be honest with you, Libra. Um, just keep hearing, awaken to yourself. Awaken to yourself. What does this mean? Tell me more about this awaken for Libra, please. This is really interesting because what I'm seeing here is her going into her mind. But I feel like this is a cleansing of the mind, right? A cleansing of all this and releasing the burden of which the mind puts on you. Okay. So two cards for Awaken. Three cards then. They come flying out with such... Um, determination it's like you better take me or else <laughs> um okay so there's definitely something that needs balancing out here okay um and there's there's this conscious way of moving through the world okay a conscious way of um connecting um and also i feel as though this is about you not living by fault anymore not just seeing where things will take you and hope for the best this is actually you consciously creating what it is that um sorry not what it is this is you consciously creating the path that you walk on right um there's there's something to that needs to be birthed out of you here libra and I feel like it's deep down within you. And some of you may know that it's there and some of you may not. But every time you go to release that out of you, there's almost like this passageway that it has to exit through. And that passageway for you can be very scary. Okay, it could be this, um, actually, it's the shadow self. It's the shadow self here. It's kind of like this thing has to go through the darkness in order to really reach the light. And when it hits the darkness, it's sort of like you become afraid of it and you push it back down, right? And maybe this is where the suppression comes in, right? So um, so it's. I think. I think this is really about you having faith in yourself. 
you know and it's kind of like oh well maybe I could do it this way then or maybe I could do it that way but maybe the way to do it is actually to go through it maybe there's no other way interesting two cards for shadow self please bearing it definitely isn't going to help two cards for shadow self Libra please thank you okay alrighty so we have we have these two cards here Libra I feel like, Libra, this is um, definitely you needing to take this blindfold off, in a sense, um, to really see the way to allow this, this thing, whatever it is for you, it could be anything, whatever it is for you that needs to come out. And I can tell you now, it's, it's a thing that is... Um, that is part of your soul. It's part of your soul journey. It's part of your soul calling. It needs to come up and out. And there is something pinning it down. It's something holding it back. But it needs to be birthed. And it does take time, Libra. It does take time. And part of, part of this um, holding it back from being birthed is because it takes time it's sort of like a, a bit of impatience I suppose but more than that I think there's fear but because it doesn't happen straight away as the process goes along the fear gets louder and louder and stronger and stronger and it pollutes it pollutes the focus and it pollutes the reception and so this is we're celebrating and experiencing these small successes along the way is going to keep you on the path okay because what's happening it seems is that the burden of this pollution is weighing you down and stopping you from moving forward with this tug it's like a tug within you that's saying to you go let's go this way come this way and you go to go that way because you know that's the way you're meant to go and you know that's the path you're meant to journey along but because it takes time and it's a slow journey you retreat and it's stopping you from completely connecting in and the fear takes over. Next card here is Torment. Okay, two cards for Torment for Libra, please. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself. And shortly thereafter, you will reg regain your confidence. Yeah, it's really about going within, right? And keeping your focus on your soul's purpose whatever that may be, putting that crown on Libra and wearing it like you should, like you deserve to, like it's there to be worn, right? Okay, so two cards, two cards for a golden crown for Libra, please. See, this this person stands here like it with conviction in her eyes, like ain't nobody going to mess with me, ain't nothing going to get in my way right she's she's walking to the beat of her own drum and this is yeah this is she's walking with conviction and i love it okay so two cards for golden crown for libra please where did the other card go up oh, there golden crown yeah see look at 
this growing up between the cracks right in the darkness it's like you have to go through the darkness to reach the light this is things some of you may even be in a bit of a dark night of the soul okay but this is the golden crown right the the gold the crown chakra glowing okay opening up and glowing all right um and and in order to do that there's got to be some there has to be energy that is shifted because that doesn't happen necessarily easily. And it's like this here, this flower here, reaching for that golden light. Because that's where it knows it will flourish. And I, I, feel, I feel like you know that, Libra. I feel like you feel that. But actually going through the darkness is the hard part. But it is worth it. It is a journey that is worth it. Okay, you have possibilities here. You know, embrace the power of the eagle to be able to rise above, to see the terrain, to see the bigger picture and what it is that by doing this, you will be able to achieve. Because sometimes it is very daunting and sometimes it gets a little bit too hard. Um, but that's at those times is when you need to hang in there the most. Okay, and then we have moved forward. And this here, this card here, is this internal battle that goes on within you because also we can get stuck in a, in a bit of a comfort zone and it can be really hard to move forward you know when we're talking about the shadow self here it is here right this is the entire shadow self moving forward towards the light to be revealed libra being the person that you are i think your shadow self scares you and it's not something you really want to look at necessarily I want you to know, Libra, everyone has a shadow self. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. You're not a bad person. It just means you're human, okay? But in order to move forward, you can't move forward just with the golden crown. The shadow self has to come with you. And in order to allow that golden crown to open and glow, the shadow self must be embraced and so that you can move forward fully, and totally okay with totality okay so two cards for move forward for libra please two cards for move forward okay so we have beyond illusion and slowing down um <clears throat> i feel like a libra this is really about you allowing the transformation to take place and not retreating Okay, I'm going going at a pace, you know, not rushing because it can't be rushed. And like I said before, you want it like that so that you don't have to go through the process. But it is the process which is necessary to be gone through in order for you to open up and reach this. In order for you to open up and embrace this. Okay, it is a process that needs to be done. It needs the, the path that needs to be taken because a butterfly can't just um, wake up in the morning and be the butterfly it has to go into the cocoon and it has to turn to mush it has to have the dark night of the soul right and it has to then come out of the cocoon has to go through that process right it is the same as you and it's the same with the turtle you know the turtle has been on land for so long it's almost forgotten what it's like to swim and it rushes towards the water without checking out its surroundings, without checking out are there any predators in there? Are my muscles required for swimming built enough in order to keep me afloat? Right? It is a process. So slow down and stop trying to rush through it because if you don't um, if you don't take each step that is required along the path, you're going to meet, need to take those steps in another on another path along the way of your life. Okay, so you may as well combat them now, okay, and get it over and done with. And also, I feel like, you know, um, by doing that, by taking each step, Libra, um, this is going to allow the crown to glow as brightly as it can grow. If you leap over, so like, you know, there's five, five steps to be taken in you leap over five steps so you're only actually taking one but as a leap this is going to um, not open up and glow so brightly so you may as well just do it now 
because it's definitely going to serve you in the future. Okay, so I feel like this is absolutely necessary for you. Okay, and um, yeah, embrace it. Embrace the lessons that you learn along the way. Em embrace the fear. Embrace the uncomfortable feelings that you are going to experience or you are experiencing. experiencing. And most of all, embrace your entire self. Okay? Because that is you in, it, in your entirety. And if you want to love the whole of you, then you're going to love the dark and the light at the same time. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.